Police blocked off the streets close to the church as they searched for weapons and explosives. Earlier, two men armed with knives had entered the building in saint etienne de rouvray during a mass. They took hostages and killed the priest who was in his 80s and seriously injured another person. A security alert was issued and police surrounded the church, shooting dead the two attackers. The French president travelled to the scene. He blamed the assault on supporters of ISIL. We're faced with one more threat and the threat remains very high. After everything we've gone through in the last few days and even the last few years, we're faced with Daesh, a group that has declared war on us. We must fight this war by all means by respecting the law. We are a democracy. What these terrorists wish to do is to divide us. saint etienne de rouvray is a small country town, home to just 27,000 people. It's a small, tightly knit community. Everybody knows each other. So it's no surprise that this attack in the local church has left people here shocked. You can never imagine something like this happening on saint etienne de rouvray It's a town where different communities live together. North African, European, Portuguese. We're really shocked. The attack comes as France is already under a state of emergency. Just 12 days ago, 84 people were killed when a man deliberately drove his truck through a crowd celebrating Bastille Day in the southern city of Nice. And the country is still reeling after November's deadly attacks by ISIL in Paris. Security has been increased with more troops deployed across France. The Vatican has condemned this latest act of violence. The fact that this episode has taken place in a church, killing a priest, a minister of the Lord and involving the faithful is something that profoundly affects us. It is an offence to a holy site and it is something terrible to our sentiments and to our religious sentiments. It's reported that one of the church attackers in saint etienne de rouvray was on a security watch list. It's now up to French anti-terrorism prosecutors to establish exactly what happened.